Friends, it is Miss Nestrick, and I am here to talk to you guys a little bit more about shapes. So right before fall break, we talked about geometric shapes. Can you guys say geometric? So geometric shapes are the shapes that we see all around us that have names. So shapes with names. So that might be a triangle, a circle, a square, a rectangle, or an oval. That might be a heart or a star. It could be a pentagon or a hexagon. Some of you guys knew some really big complicated shapes, but shapes that have names are geometric shapes. Shapes that aren't geometric are called organic shapes. Can you say organic? Organic shapes are shapes that don't have names. They're shapes that are made up of all different types of lines that are free form. Can you say free form? So free form shapes and organic shapes are shapes that normally appear out in nature. So a cloud is the shape of, is a free form shape or an organic shape, a cloud. Um, a leaf, bark on a tree, a flower, a butterfly's wings. Um, let's see what else might be out in nature. Um, a raindrop. A raindrop could be geometric or organic, I guess, since we know that its name is a raindrop, but, or a teardrop. Let's see, what else? What else if I'm looking at my window? Um, leaves are great. The shape of grass. There's lots of different types of organic shapes. So what I want you to do today is you're going to go take a walk. I want you to walk around outside. You're going to need an adult probably. So with an adult or with an older sibling or an older, um, an older kid, go on a walk around your yard or around the neighborhood and find some organic shapes. Take your sketchbook with you and at the top of your sketchbook, you're going to write organic. So I think that my camera is gonna be backwards on here, but I'm gonna try anyway. But I'm pretty sure it's backward based on my shirt. Yep, it's backwards, oh well. But you can have an adult write organic. So it's O, I'll go really slow so you can write it along with me. O, R, G, a, N, I, C, organic. So organic shapes are free form shapes. So write that at the top of your sketchbook. And then I want you to go outside and find some organic free form shapes to draw. That might be a leaf. It might be a clover, it might be a flower, it might be a stick or the bark on the stick. Can't tell if that's focused or not. The bark on the stick. So those are all organic shapes. So I found those objects. I brought them inside so that I could draw them. You can draw them outside or inside, but then you'll draw them in your book. I, on the top, drew some geometric shapes just so that I could see the difference between geometric and organic. But on the bottom, I drew my organic shapes while I was looking at them on the table. You can do it outside or inside. So I want you to draw some organic shapes that you find outside in nature. Enjoy being outside. I can't wait to see what you guys draw and I'll talk to you soon. Adios.